The deep web. The deep, the deep web. The hidden part of the internet. YouTube, Facebook, all of the hundreds of thousands of websites that you can reach simply by typing words into a search bar doesn't even account for 10% of what the web holds. Think of it like an iceberg. The visible part looks massive and impressive, but what lies beneath the depths of the water is an even more massive structure. A structure you can only see if you're looking for it. The deep web is completely anonymous. This makes it the perfect breeding ground for black markets. Drugs, weapons, fake passports, even hitmen. Pretty much anything illegal you can find on the deep web. Anything. That's a typical Monday for me. Wake up, sell, get high, pass out. Of course, it wouldn't be the same without my best friend, Pink. He's a little, uh, off. But you can't help but like the guy. Pink and I have been dealing for five years now, and we're damn good at it. I tend to focus on selling to your typical stoner stereotype. Pink likes to handle the more casual smokers. This is some Bubba Kush right here, real dankery. Have a good time, Mrs. Benson. Thank you, Floyd, darling. I've told Deborah so many times to call me Pink, but she still calls me Floyd, man. Dude, we need to get some more of that acid. Yeah, that's some great Lucy. My dealer told me where he got it. It's called the Dark Web. You mean like the hidden internet, dude? Yeah, he showed me how to do it too, dude. <laughs> dude! Right, dude? Let's get to it then. We thought we were going to be the biggest, baddest dealers in town. And we would have been. If I wasn't an idiot. The one cardinal rule of the deep web is don't explore unless you know what you're doing. I was never told this when I learned about the deep web, so... I went deep. Balls deep. Have you ever gotten to the weird part of the internet? No one really knows how they get there. You start off watching a cat video on YouTube, and you just keep clicking on links until eventually, you're watching erotic fanfiction about Shrek. That's how I came across the normal forum. This website was the farthest thing from normal. Some sick bastard herded people up like cattle and maimed them until they were unrecognizable. He tied one guy to a table, sawed his leg off, and then fed it to him. I felt like I was going to throw up. I had to get the hell off this website. I had never been so terrified in my life. He seemed so casual about everything that was going on. Who knew who this guy was? But I wasn't sticking around to find out. What the f I 
was still pretty shaken up by yesterday's little run-in. There was something about the brutality of it all that just got to me. The crap was so evil. I mean, I'd seen some things, don't get me wrong. But nothing could have prepared me for that. Hey, bro. How's it hanging? Pink. I've, I've made a mistake. You are a mistake. <laughs> Please find it in yourself to be serious for once. My goddamn life is in jeopardy. What's wrong, man? I was on the deep web and they know me, man. Of course they know you. You got asses from them. No, no, not the Silk Road. I was on one of those human experiment pages, you know. They saw me, they know where I sleep, they know where I live. Can I just stay at your place for a while? I... what the... Oh my god! Pink? Pink? This is Floyd. I just killed an intruder. Come get this dirt bag out of here, alright? D- How? Yeah, I don't really know about screenwriting, I guess. Woo! Come on, bro. Let's go suck on some reefer sticks. Hell yeah! 